You get a lab test that says you have high TSH or low TSH, and you're wondering what is thyroid stimulating hormone, also known as TSH. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at this specific question on what is TSH, what does it mean, how do you look at the results. As I said, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know that I'm making this to help you connect the dots up in your health to go a little bit beyond the basics, whether it's a confusing lab test or symptom or diagnosis. I make these videos because I enjoy helping people get a better understanding of what's going on with their health. So if you like this kind of information and approach, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channels to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's connect the dots on what is thyroid stimulating hormone? So in this video, we're going to look at what is thyroid stimulating hormone. So basically thyroid stimulating hormone is a hormone produced by your pituitary gland, which is in your brain, and it causes your thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormone. Mainly it's going to stimulate the thyroid gland to produce T4. T4 is also known as thyroxin, and this is thyroid hormone. And think of thyroid stimulating hormone as the amount of thyroid hormone that your brain or pituitary is asking for. The more your brain is asking for a thyroid hormone, the higher your TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone is going to be. So how does that fit into the context of you the person? How does this relate to your body and things like that? So what is thyroid stimulating hormone? On your lab test, it's going to be abbreviated TSH. And so if you have a high value above the stated reference range, it can be said that your thyroid is actually asking for more thyroid hormone. And conversely, if you have a low value, your brain is not really asking for much. And maybe even in that case, your brain is saying, well, slow down on the thyroid hormone production. Now, there are several reasons why one might have a TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone that's below or above the lab stated reference range. So it's not always appropriate to assume that a high TSH means you need more thyroid hormone and a low TSH means you have too much. So you can have a high TSH and not necessarily be hypothyroid, and you can have a low TSH and not necessarily be hyperthyroid. So how do you know when a high TSH means you have hypothyroid and therefore need to be on some thyroid support or thyroid hormone? That's what we're going to look at next. So that's all I had for this video on what is thyroid stimulating hormone. If you do have additional questions on this, make sure you check out the following video on thyroid lab testing. Also, feel free to drop your comment in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.